everybody. Welcome to episode two of my video vlog, Pink 2023, for my journey. This episode, thanks, ways. This episode is going to get into the uh, how-to or the platform I'm going to be using to race the pink this year. Uh, I figured the, the best way to show you guys would be to actually show you, not just talk about it. So. I am on the way to the airport. It's Australia Day. I've got a couple of days off work. Thanks to Mum's Friday and the Monday off. Uh, I'm going to take a little trip in an aeroplane and show you guys uh, what I'm going to get up to and how I'm going to race the pink this year. There's another little surprise thrown in. So join me on the adventure. I'm here at Outback Motorcycle Adventures HQ in Alice Springs. Uh, it's a tour company operated by Michael Vroom and Damien McGrath, Vroomy and Damo. I got into these guys last year when I was looking for a holiday. Wanted to do like a bike tour holiday and usually, you know, the Cape's first thing that you tick off the bucket list. Cape tours were all booked out for some time um, and that targeted marketing, I guess, put uh, these guys on my radar through good old Facebook, investigated through that and saw that there was a, a tour that they did called the Six Day Rock Tour, which is pretty cool. Lee from Alice, um, day one you head down the Fink Track, you go out to Chambers Pillar, over to Ayers Rock, um, the Olgas, catch a plane flight up to Kings Canyon, go there, go through the Fink Gorge, basically spend six days um, assisted through their big desert truck, riding with a heap of other people, camping and having a great time. So I um, signed up for that tour and went and did that holiday with these guys and had the time of my life. Easily probably one of the coolest things I've ever done on a dirt bike. I've never been to this part of Australia before, so experiencing you know, Ayers Rock and all of the country around it, access on cattle stations and some property that you can't normally ride on unless you're with these guys, I feel it was the best way to possibly see this part of the country. And it was amazing. So coming into doing that, like I, I knew that day one, you rode a little bit of the Fink track. And I thought, yeah, cool. I'll just ride this. That'll be good. We'll have seen the part of the Fink. Sweet. Carry on. No intention of ever racing it. Um, I, I remember going down the track that day on the first day, I was riding a 500 Sherco. That's what their, their tour fleet, um, consists of. So I'm, I'm in literally a sea of brand new Shercos here. These are the bikes for their, um, their current season. They're in the process of building them all up and setting them up for the desert spec. That's all these lovely new bikes behind me in the background. So I'm a Sherco 500 all set up for the desert. We rode down that little part of the Fink track and pull over at the end and Rumi asked everyone, oh, what did you think of that? I was just, I don't know, at that moment, kind of resigned to the fact that, that was a bit cool and I'd be keen to ride a little bit more of it. As the week's gone on and I spent more time riding in the desert, riding with these guys and riding with all of the, you know, the, the new people I'd met on the tour, um, I was talking myself into you know, wanting to come back and do do more. So Outback Motorcycle Adventures actually do a supported Fink um, race package. So you can race the Fink with these guys. You literally pay your money, um, pay your entry fee, sort all that stuff out, turn up here with your gear bag in Alice and you can ride one of their bikes. I'll set it all up for you, take you down for a bit of pre-running the day before, support you, assist you with all of their vehicles and their crew to do the event. Now, someone like me that lives in Brisbane, you know, a couple of thousand k's away, work full time to try and get a bike. I don't own a 450. I don't own a 500. I don't have the knowledge or the experience to set it up to go desert racing. Yeah, sure. I could investigate that. I could find out what that is and what it needs to be. But the reality is, is that I don't have to. So there is a platform here that means I just need to pay the money turn up, 
race and have years and years and years worth of desert racing and fink racing experience um, on hand and to go to. It helps it up to, you know, to give me the ins and the outs and things that I need to go. So it's going to just going to be the best possible experience, right? So I signed up with these guys. I'm going to be racing um, the 2023 Fink this year with Outback Motorcycle Adventures on their um, tour bike package. So this year they have a total of 17 riders. So they have filled all the spots for everybody else that's coming to Fink. So there'll be 16 other people on the same package as me doing Fink, which has been pretty cool. So booked in for that at the end of last year, deposits paid, we're, we're now in preparation for that. And just in discussion with uh, Damo about, you know, getting ready for Fink and the whole vlog thing comes up, we're going to produce a vlog. And the outcome to that was um, Sherco, who's obviously the supplier for all of the bikes here at um, Outback, have also jumped on board and supplied these guys with uh, a 450 factory edition Sherco in addition to their higher bike fleet, higher bike fleet um, for me. So Sherco have popped on board to supply a bike over the next six months for me to use out here in the desert to begin to prepare. But uh, I guess the real message here is that the platform that I'm using is something that literally anybody can do, providing that you um, meet the prerequisites to enter the Fink race itself, which we'll I'll go through and, and talk about in a different episode. Um, you know, and you've got the the skill set to be able to ride that distance in the desert. There's absolutely no reason that anybody else can't. Um, you know, grab one of these Shercos and, and jump on the hire bike program with Outback Motorcycle Adventures. Um, I'm going to take all of the, the guesswork, the the unknowns and the, the logistical nightmare out of it that, you know, someone who may not have all the support and all the people that you can bring out to do all the fuel stops with you and stuff, um, they provide all of that. So um, I think it's a really great way to go about um looking at doing the Fink race. So the trip out this week is um, due to the fact that the 450 Sherco arrived up here for me and it's an opportunity to get the bike set up and to have a, have a ride this weekend with Australia Day, being able to take a couple of extra days off work. I could spend a few days up here uh, and do some riding. Um, I am also here to do the Deep Well Desert Race. So there's nothing quite like a baptism by fire so <laughs> I've never done a desert race before so doing arguably one of Australia's toughest motocross races um, is on the cards so it's the end of January it's Alice Springs it's pretty hot and it's uh, three 30 minute motos in the red sand so that's in store for Sunday on the Sherco so we've got a little bit of time to do some testing some bike setup and just go straight into the first desert race it's going to be uh, a really good base marker for where I'm at it's going to be tough I know with the amount of riding I've got under my belt and probably my fitness level at the moment it's gonna it's going to be hard it's gonna be hard work there's no joke about that but the uh, I guess the take home from this will be the very clear understanding of what I need to work on come Sunday afternoon and Monday's reflection of how the event goes. So um, I'm going to take you guys down to, to Deepwell and do some filming, filming down there and you guys can uh, check out what that's all going to be about. Exciting! Still dirty, Damo! Yes, well, I rode it yesterday, put, a, put an hour on it, run it in. This is the new race machine for the year. Thank you to Sherco Australia. We're on a 450 factory edition. Yes. Other than, as you can see, they come pretty tricked out standard. The Acro exhaust and XL rims and we've done a few little things to it. We've put underbar steering damper. 
um, some stags. Yep. And Rumi has revowed the suspension with his top secret settings. He has. We're not allowed to know what that is, apparently. Yeah. We're just going to find out. We're going to test with it. Test with it tomorrow. Yes. And we're going to see. So for it's today, exciting. we're just going to finish putting the graphics on. And I brought some hand wires and grips with me. My spec stuff. So we'll pop that on. And fit up your tyres and stuff like that. And she should be sweet for a test run tomorrow. Super excited. Going testing today. 450's loaded up. Mission to put it on the back of this thing is like literally above my shoulder height. I don't know how he deals with that, but apparently he does. You! Day one of testing, had a little bit of a mishap. <laughs> Just uh, kind of caught the front around the corner. Just as I was starting to feel a little bit confident. Sucked in the sand, landed on my ribs, they're a bit sore. Just gonna see how that plays out. Damo missed that footage on the camera, so no one gets to see it. <laughs> 